Hey everybody, good morning. Drone Tech here. Uh, I'm sure by now most of you have heard about the Twitter file releases by Elon Musk, and they confirm much what we already knew uh, about what was going on with the 2020 election as far as big tech, uh, the FBI, the media, and the Democrats. Uh, we know a lot of this because of various things. I mean, Time Magazine famously wrote that article essentially bragging about fortifying the election, and uh, that tied in with a lot of other things we knew already about the FBI, about the media's, you know, uh, the fact they're just Democrat state media at this point, a, an extension of their uh, party. And so KJP was finally asked about this, and <laughs> you know the response is just going to be hilarious. You, that these decisions were made appropriately in light of what has come out. Which decisions? By whom? By Twitter. By Twitter on, okay. So look, <laughs> we see this as a, a, an interesting or a coincidence, if I may, that uh, uh, that he would so haphazardly, uh, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction. Uh, that is oh. a that is a full of uh, old news, if you think well, about it. Um, and uh, at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions uh, about the rising volume of anger, hate, and anti-Semitism on their platform, <laughs> and uh, how they're letting it happen. <gasps> And, uh, you know, the president said last week, more leaders need to speak out and reject this. And uh, it's a very alarming and very dangerous. <laughs> she's so bad at this. Uh, so, OK, so first of all, I'll just say that she the one thing she did say that was correct there is that this is kind of old news. And it is in that we already knew, like I said earlier, that. The Democrat media, the government uh, in some capacity like the FBI um, and the big tech companies were interfering in the election. And we know this because they suppressed a major story, the Hunter Biden laptop story, which they want you to think the Democrats and their media want you to think that this is all about Hunter Biden's laptop and some seedy pictures on there, uh, which is part of it because some of it does seem to involve young people. Uh, but the bigger question here is how uh, Joe Biden is involved in Hunter Biden's business dealings, shady business dealings. And there are clues on this laptop that suggest that Joe Biden is involved. Joe Biden has already said multiple times that he was not involved in any of Hunter's dealings. And we already know that that's not true. People forget, and it's not hard to understand why, because pretty much the entire media ignored this story when it first broke. But one of Hunter Biden's ex-business partners, uh, actually came out already, did several interviews on Fox News, and confirmed that, yes, Joe Biden was involved in some very shady business dealings with China and Ukraine. And then, of course, thanks to whistleblowers and Fox News, because the rest of the media has ignored this, uh, we know that the FBI were telling their agents not to investigate the Hunter Biden laptop story before the election. They were intentionally trying to tip the election into Biden's favor. But besides that one point, everything else she said, ironically, was just a total distraction from what was actually released in these Twitter files. And she called uh, the release of them haphazard. I don't know what she means by that. She was given, she gave no examples of what was haphazard. I mean, what we're watching here is the owner of a private company being transparent and releasing communications uh, between elements of the government, Democrats, and uh, Twitter mid-management and their truth and safety team. That's all they've done. And I'm pretty sure he censored out like most or a lot of the recipients and the senders of these emails. Uh, I know that he did reveal the identities of some of the Democrats who uh, sent these emails, which is fine. Why wouldn't he do that? They are uh, uh, government servants. They're public servants. They it, We should know uh, what communications they had before that might have influenced this 2020 election. And then, of course, she calls it a distraction. Like, <laughs> how is this a distraction? Well, she claims it's a distraction from uh, anger, hate, anti-Semitism, and just everything that's most horrible and evil in this world, apparently. By what measure exactly are hate and anger and anti-Semitism uh, flourishing on Twitter? And even if that were true, I mean, that's just the way the internet has always been. I mean, there's lots of anti-white racism 
on Twitter as well. But I don't think that's a problem or an issue because nobody ever really brings it up except for a few fringe people like yours truly. Uh, but yeah, you've never uh, hear anything about that. That's fine. Or it's not dangerous. Here's the thing is that Twitter has always been that way. It was that way before Elon Musk bought it. And the problem is here is that before Elon bought it, though those words were kind of used as a blanket justification to silence Democrats' political opponents because that's all we ever saw. And that's what's confirmed in these emails is that literally just people who were thorns in the sides of Democrats, uh, all Democrats had to do was email the truth and safety team over at Twitter and they were gone. KJP and our media are heavily invested in distracting from the fact that they were all very much involved in influencing the election in favor of Joe Biden. And this should be very obvious to everybody at this point. Our media's job is to keep power in check, not circle the wagons and protect that power. This is clearly a big story, and journalists should want to dig into that to find corruption. Because, like I said, that's their job. They're the fourth estate. But they have completely abandoned that job and instead have just become Democrat Party state mouthpieces. And because they're so involved in their corruption, they're going to try and cover all that up at all costs. All right, folks, that's it for that one. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. And check back later for some more content. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.